Hi, you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life, where I give you real world informatics information as well as about technology and healthcare. Thank you for joining today. Today, we're going to talk about informatics interview time. All right, so we're going to talk about what to do on your interview. Now, I hope you watch all three videos already about the resume, what you need to include in your resume. Super, super, super important. One thing that I did not include, and I just wanna throw this in there, so I hope that you watch this too if you watch the resume. Please, y'all do me a big favor. Watch out for grammatical errors, misspellings, the way you structure your sentences, you are entering into a very professional leadership position when you step into informatics. So I'm just adding this on there. Like, I hope that you watch all three resumes. Then you see this and you're like, oh yeah, you guys, please check that. Like, that's basics. But I feel like sometimes people just don't pay attention to the basics. They're so excited to get into informatics that they're just rushing to put this resume together, they add in all this stuff, and then there's tons of misspellings, tons of grammatical errors, and we look at that. Like, if you can't structure a sentence, if you if you are misspelling, and you're gonna be, you know, emailing executives, emailing uh, these leadership teams, and we need you to put together a sentence, okay? We need you to know how to structure things, and you're not misspelling words. There's spell check. Use spell check if you struggle. The struggle is real sometimes for some of y'all and it's okay. I'm not here to pick on you. I'm just saying, let's use some technology out there to make you a success. You know the science. <laughs> All right, so anyways, y'all probably like, this girl got holistic. I know, I tried to dress up for y'all today, right? Like I, in interview, right? Interview. So I just wanted to like, kind of like dress up a little bit to get you in the mood for interview time. All right? So there's two parts to this, okay? Two parts that I wanna make sure you watch these two. I mean, I can extend this part out forever, but I'm gonna really just hone in on the basics for you. The first thing I want you to remember when you're getting ready for an interview is know the organization you are applying to. What do I mean by that? All right, so every hospital has a mission statement. Every hospital has some type of values that they are living by, their standards, the way they, they build their foundation upon, whether it's uh, environmental services, whether it's transport services, whether it's nursing, physicians, everyone has to live according to these values. And if you work out there in the medical field, or if you work in some type of organization where you work, you know, maybe you wanna enter into informatics then you should know the company's value system and their mission statement. Why do I say that? If you go in there and your resume and your personality and your the what you're talking about to the interviewees does not align with their values or their their mission statement, they probably won't hire you, okay? So it's so super important that you actually study it. I, I am just not a fan of people getting a job just to get a job. You gotta work for a company that's going to align with you, okay? So just just know the company. Look look them up. All the, trust me. If they are uh in today 2021, most companies have that kind of information online. It's out there. So don't sit here and say, oh, I don't know. Unless it's like some really small company that they don't even have a website. <laughs> so, no, just know the company, okay? The next tip I wanna bring up is connected to the first about knowing the organization. Next tip is don't lie. I'm just telling you right now, do not lie in the interview. Don't go in there with um, you know, speaking all your skills, you've looked up the organization and you just made up a whole fluff uh, conversation because you are just trying to get hired. I'm just gonna warn you right now, your real self is gonna come out. 
is going to come out and if it's not aligned with the organization, then you're probably not going to last long in the company. Okay. Uh, informatics is very much a leadership position. It's very much, you are leading the way of technology. You are interacting with just not nursing sometimes. Sometimes we, the way my company is structured, we can interact with anybody. If you work in the hospital, we probably will talk to you sometime one way or another fashion. We're going to talk to you. If you're just not a, a servant type of person, I'm just going to bring out some values that I hear in a lot of mission statements, servanthood, compassion. If you're not a compassionate person, you're not going to last long because as soon as the crap hits the fan, that little compassion you shared in the interview is probably going to go out the window and you're going to be pissed off at something or being a servant or uh, loving people. <laughs> Another popular value or mission, a part of mission statements is like owning things. Like maybe you made a mistake. You need to own that. Maybe someone needs something from your department and you're the last one on shift and you just really don't have time for it, but you own, you need to own that. Hey, I represent the department. I represent the company. Let me go ahead and take care of this for the customer. If that's not something, maybe you like, no, I just do me. I don't do anybody else. If you have that mentality, you're probably not going to last within a company if that's their mission statement, that's their values, because that's what they're going to expect from you. That's what they're going to hold you accountable for. Okay. So again, I know I'm saying a stretch of information here, but it's important that you tip one, know the organization. Tip two, make sure you are truly aligned with the mission statement or the, or the values of that company. Again, because like I said, when the crap hits the fan, if that's not true who you are, then it's going to show. And your leadership, the people around you that you're serving, they're going to see that and you can get written up. And that's going to really show poorly on your behalf. So I'm just saying, be real. Be 100% real. Okay. <laughs> Aligned with tip number one, again, the third tip is make sure you use it in the conversation repeatedly, okay? So say for instance, one of the core values of your company you're interested in is servanthood. Maybe that's like, so you want to say, hey, in your interview, you want to make sure you're saying servanthood. I value servanthood. I, I actually serve in my community. I actually, you know, I, I volunteer at an orphanage because I love, ser like you just want to use the words. <laughs> Sometimes some companies has like an HR rep do like the first filtering of the uh, candidates. Make sure you use it with um, whomever you're talking to, interacting with that company. Also, if you have a cover letter, maybe your objectives for on your resume, I don't know, y'all have so many different resumes out there. Whatever you have out there, just make sure you put the verbiage all over the place, <laughs> okay? Again, you want that company to see that, yeah, that's me. I, I could completely align with what you're saying because I actually believe in those same values, all right? So put it all through your resume, put it, put it all in the interview and just shine like a star. All right. It is super important that if you've heard me say this in the past, that you are bringing the company value. All right. That's what a lot of people think. Oh, I'm just getting a paycheck. No, you're getting paid for the value you bring to the company. So if you bring a lot of value, if you really reflect truly their values. If you work over and above, you work hard, you get out there and you're just like, I'm going to get this done and I'm going to go over and above. And if somebody calls me at 5.01 PM, I'm not going to be like, I'm off. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're going to be like, Hey, how can I help you? That's, if that's truly who you are, you can a hundred percent say that I align with that. This whole interview Video is truly about knowing the company you plan on working for. Um, I cannot say that enough. Again, you do not want to 
Uh, be a part of a company that doesn't reflect who you are. Because again, who you are is going to shine through whether it's good <laughs> or bad. So know the company, make sure you're expressing to them who you are, how you align with this, how you can help them bring more value to their company because, hey, I'm what you're looking for. I bring the same thing to you. And that's what I can do for you. And you want to make sure, again, that is expressed in the interview, what you can do for them, what value you can bring for them. It is not about you. And that might sound really selfish to a company, but a company is out to collectively bring everyone together on the same value system. I hope that makes sense. So I hope this was pretty good for you for informatics. Please watch part two of the interviews. It's going to more be about you. This one was about the organization or company. If you like this kind of information, please like and subscribe down below. Also, if you haven't checked out the shop, get your nursing informatics shirt and rock it. All right, you guys, I appreciate you guys so much as always. I reached 500 subscribers. Ah! I can't believe it. I value each and every one of you. Drop some tips, comments down below. What do you want to hear about? I will tell you what I know, what I have experienced, and I will give you that, all right? I can only do my best. I'm here to serve you all. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.